this week on the Hoover Boys. It was your turn to find it a was. coin. Ooh, I see yep. details already. What do you got this time? Oh, is that what I think it is? Yes, it sir, is. I think so. You got a date and everything on that thing. All right. Dude, that's cool. We don't find too many of those. Well, I'd like to welcome you to this week's episode of the Hoover Boys. Hey, who's this guy? I haven't seen you in a while. What's up? I'm back. <laughs> Mr. Smiley. Made it back to the end of summer. Stevie smiles a lot. <laughs> You're gonna like this place. Yeah. Well, I hope you will. I hope I find some cool stuff. How's that bottom treating you? That's real nice. Nice and firm, huh? Mm -hmm. We are right back to the site from the last handful of episodes. Uh, last time we were here, it was low tide. Mark and I were out pretty deep finding some really nice things. And we chased Brad all the way down the shoreline. Didn't find much down there. So we're gonna go out deep here. We noticed it's low tide. We may or not stay here all day. We might investigate some new spots. We don't know until we go. Either way, we're gonna have some fun and save some history. While I was talking about intro, he just dumped this scoop. He said it's a four signal. Yeah, I don't even know the pinpointer pick up a four on this machine. Four, four on to a hundred. Four on the nine hundred? Yeah. There it is right there. Right here. Is that yeah. a button? <laughs> <laughs> Look how small that is. Oh, attack, that's right? a cute little button. That's a Sorry, button, bro. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Just like that, we're underway. At least Mark is. I gotta get my machine out of the boat still. <laughs> no, my first signal was an 1112. How about a time back button? All right. I guess I'm gonna start my day with a shot shell base. But we're underway. <laughs> Cleaning up the river. Oh boy, I think I see a copper. Huh? A you see a copper already? It's not a bug gun. You want to see an in situ? And it's in situ copper? We'll go right from your live dig to my live dig. Yeah, you came out here and walked straight to a copper. You son of a gun. Got a copper? Heck yeah, it is. This place got some deets. This Let's place is just some details. It looks pretty smooth from here. It does look pretty smooth. It. It. Come on. See one in the water slick. Uh, this is not pitted up. It was it was lost smooth. Yeah, he was slick going in. Sure, it's an old old coin, but I can't see nothing. Hopefully, side light will help us later. Congratulations! Yeah, right on. Got yourself a big copper. For Ten minutes, I like it. This is one slick copper coin. Uh, I thought we could see something on it, but uh, I don't know. We might need some side light later. I'm not seeing much on it right now. And the sun's not out, which is not helping. Signal is around a 16, sometimes 17. I'm gonna see what it is. Oh, did I get a copper? I just got a copper. For 15 <laughs> we haven't been here long. Oh, that's a William. It's got details too. It was down there. Wow. That's a William Hibernia. <laughs> that's freaking incredible. Please set the date on it. It does. I know it's a it's a KG three. Yeah, it's KG three Hibernia. I don't know why it looked like a William at first. It's not a bad looking coin. Mine was a Hibernia too. So I think it's a 1762. Off, Check that bad boy out. Awesome. Uh, yeah, that's a good looking coin, bro. <laughs> that works. I like it <laughs> all the way. <laughs> Last week I was saying, when is one of these low beepers, you know, right around that 16, 17, going to turn into a KG3? There's stuff over there too, Steve. Took a week, but there she is. That is awesome. Heck yeah. That was almost too easy. <laughs> I hope that means it's going to be a good day and not a 30 second curse for Mark and I, but King George III Hibernia, no doubt about that. Looks like we have a 1762. That is a good looking copper coin. It looks like it was maybe clipped or something like that, but that coin is holding a lot of details. That is definitely a nice looking copper coin, especially out of this site. It seemed to be hit or miss. Ooh, this is a 910. Oh, there's a little button. <gasps> yes, dude, you always find these. Oh, it's it's a it's a little. I mean, I don't know if it was a cuff or not, but it's it's a little. Uh, it's got a stone in it. Oh, nice stone one. Yeah, a little little glass button. Awesome, dude. That is so cool. That's 
don't always find them. You're the one who always find these ink hoppers with details. Maybe today's the day of reversal. I find all the stuff with details and it's cool. We swap. <laughs> we swap these, so I guess no... Uh, you can have my walnut. No glass butt for me today. <laughs> this is awesome. I've definitely seen Mark and a few other people dig these, but I don't know if I've ever found with the stone still in there. I'm pretty sure it's just glass or something along those lines, but whether it was a little cuff link or a little cuff button or something, that is cool. Anytime you can find with the stone still in there, that is definitely a cool little cuff link or cuff button. Well, Smiley just said he dug a piece of lead, and before he dumped out a scoop, he found himself an arrowhead. Dude! That's cool. Look at that thing! That's cool looking. That's incredible, man! It's definitely worked. <laughs> yeah. Like I've Definitely. I don't know if I've seen one like that. It's Me not either. a it's not a drill tip. That's that that's all of it. Good thing I didn't dump it out, Mark. <laughs> that's a beautiful little arrowhead. Congrats, bro. Yeah. Thank you. That is a beautiful little arrowhead. Third one out of this site. And that thing is pretty. Nice eyeball, buddy. I don't even think I've found an arrowhead this year. I haven't really been sifting for him. You got a dandy button? It's a fancy one. I got a fishing spoon and a brick. That's a very old brick. You got you a dandy button, huh? Oh my! Have you flipped it yet? I don't know. Let's all out. Oh boy! Be something on it. That's a big one. Let me give her a little rinse. You ready? Yep. Yeah. Oh, there's something on it. Is it? Oh, is it? You got the little circle design. I see it. Yeah. It, it's not yeah, what, pretty... what we're hoping it is, but it's the, it's the uh, six colony button. <laughs> Eight colonies. <laughs> oh, that helped it. Oh, it's yeah, beautiful. Cool. It's a beautiful design. Holy cow. Yeah. Oh, congratulations. Thanks, man. That's that's it. a nice piece of history right there. <laughs> Beautiful dandy button. We've definitely found some nice dandy buttons here, but not too many of them have been fancy. This one is all the way fancy. <laughs> that is a good looking button. Almost has that George Washington Link States design, but obviously it's not. Somebody took some time and really turned this button into something beautiful. That is awesome. All right, Smiley, you got something? Yeah, I'm good. Nice. Oh, that was a high beeping one, wasn't it? Mm, like yeah, I bet that sounded like a coin. There's a lot of thick buttons here that sound like coins. Oh, like a keyhole, maybe. Off a lock or something, maybe? You're making stuff up like Mark now. Yeah, What's that? I don't know. I found that. You found this, too? Yeah. Oh, I wish that had some fancy on it. Oh, yep. <laughs> There's a <laughs> few of those out here. <laughs> Quick look at Smiley's button. Smooth, thick, coin beeping button. And since then, he's found some more buttons. <laughs> Look at them buttons. We got a time back. That's a lead button there. Nothing on the face of that joker. That yeah, that's lead. Or lead pewter. Saw his arrowhead. He's got a musket ball. I found one or two of these things today. Very good. Fill that box up, buddy. Good golly, Miss Molly. This has got to be a coin. 28 to 29. Big copper. Definitely could be a silver. Two reals. Come on. Oh, one scooper. Those are my favorite. I see anything? Come on. I'm gonna sit there. See anything? I don't see nothing yet. Come on. There it is. Big copper. Have some details. Have some details. Pretty thick. Should have something on it. It's a high beeper. That's going to be a Connecticut copper, I do believe. This site is still giving it up. This is our fourth trip here. Doesn't get any better than this, people. Well, the sun's not really helping. It's real high in the sky right now, but I do believe that was a Connecticut copper. You can almost make out the reverse on this side, but it's it was definitely lost smooth. But just by the way, it was beeping high, and the few details I could see on it when I found it. I do believe it was a Connecticut copper, but it's a pretty slick one. Hope we can find some more coins with details. Well, this was an 11 signal and I see a little buckly, oh, it's a little suspender clasp or something. That's cool. Got a little working shape there. And uh, I found a few of these rings here and now I know what they go to. <laughs> That's cool. Fancy little thing. Out here in the deep. 
I just got another one. Somebody lost all their suspenders here. <laughs> Somebody was thrown overboard here. That's crazy. It was a 12 signal. I think the first one was an 11 or 12 too, and it still has a little ring. I have two of them now, matching set. Matching pair, I love it. That's cool. Well, we found another rock pile out here. Another ballast stone pile, and uh, Mark's got himself a point out of it. Look to the right. Slicky, but you can see the bust. Might have to wet it just a little bit, but you can see the bust looking right. It's either a... Uh, uh, yeah, I see it. What is that? I don't know. That might be a, a William. Yeah, it's Cobb's Garden. That's what I was saying. Fourth big copper out of here today. Last time we were here with Brad, we only saw three coppers, and Mark dug all three of them. <laughs> no. Yeah, you did. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> I dug a silver and you dug a silver, but. Yeah. Well, this coin appears to be right facing. It's a big old thick thing, but don't have tons of details. I'm not sure what it is. It very well could be a King William, but it doesn't quite look like one. I don't know. Hopefully we can figure it out later, but right now I'm gonna call it a King William. What? You already Woods got Hibernia. one of them this year. A good looking Woods Hibernia. A good looking Woods Hibernia. Yeah. Easy peasy. Mark's got another 1783. coin. 1783. 1783 it says. Now you right. Look at that. It's It'll all be 1723. You butt right? nugget. Good looking Woodsy. Unbelievable. Gonna, exactly 300 years old <laughs> Woods Hibernia. Also, I got another you, one. You what? You got another one? <laughs> oh, earlier yeah. this year. Yeah, you, this is your second Woodsy of the year. That's yeah. incredible, bro. Congrats. I'm gonna see you right there on the muck. Thanks. Bang. <laughs> Holy cow. Well, no doubt about that one. That's a Woods Hibernia. Gosh, it's a good looking coin. 1723. We do, yeah, it's 1723. They only made this coin from 1722 to 1724. Britannia with the, the harp. It was originally made for Ireland, but they didn't like them, so they sent them over here to the colonies. And We just found one at this site. Well, Mark did. That is absolutely beautiful copper, especially coming out of the water. I love that reverse. That is so cool. So that was in the same hole as your woodsy? It was. <laughs> Pushed it around for about 10 minutes. It's pulled out three quarters of a shoe buckle. Man, oh man. <laughs> craziness. It is craziness. It's beautiful, man. Oh, Congrats. Appreciate it. I can't get over a signal anymore. I don't know what's going on. I gotta get back to work. 27? Yeah. That'd be nice. I can go for one of those type signals right now. Move on right now. Unfortunately, the rocks down here are really big and they're hard to dig in. Oh, there it is. It. Not a coin. Is it a big fat button? Ooh, the big fat button. It's gotta be a blowhole. That is true. That's the thing of beauty. No, I'm not seeing any holes blowed in the back, but look at that thing. Oh, wow. Sweet. That's a heavy brass button. Yeah. That's cool. Quick close up of this button. It's cool. It doesn't appear to be a blowhole. It's more solid than anything. It's heavy. It beeped high too, but that is definitely an old button. Almost looks like a two piece, but it's a one piece. It's solid. Nice high tone here, but it sounds big. Something big. We gotta dig it out and see what it is. Well, I don't wanna get my scoop, so I gotta get it manually. And it feels like a spoon. It's a rat tail spoon. Complete rat tail spoon. It's all banged up, but it wasn't bent by me. Surprisingly, hey, I've been fine last week. complete rat tail, buddy. Rats, bro. Uh, I want to straighten it so bad. It's probably not a smart idea, though. We might play with it later. That's awesome. <laughs> That's my second complete rat tail this year. Shoosh. That is an early spoon. I love it. That is cool. Check out that bad boy. I let it sit on the boat on a hot surface and let it get all warmed up and I straightened it out. It's beautiful, it's perfect. Perfect rat tail spoon bowl. Oh, boat just hit me. I tripped over a rock earlier too and fell in the water, scraped up my hand real nice. That was fun. Almost as fun as finding this beautiful piece of colonial history. That is a cool 1600 spoon. The 12 signal, where's my gold coin? Where is it at? Oh, 
What is that? Thick button. Convex tomback. That's different. All right. Oh, fancy. Fancy. Got a fancy Thomas back. You got a fancy Tom back. The Tom back with a Tudor rose in a circle. <gasps> Ooh. See it? Ain't a Tudor. That could See be. It? See yeah. the that's a that's a cool button, man. Yeah, man. That's really cool. You didn't see them at first, neither did I. <laughs> well, at first it just looked like the checkered pattern that I, we normally yeah. get, find. That's that's a cool button, man. Yeah. So oh cool. goodness. What, what else it, you got in there? You think there's something on it? On one side or the other. Dude, it that's like a freaking fishing sinker. It's not. You can see where the thing nah, came off right there. That's a fishing sinker. It's it's me that's good stuff. More shoe buckle frame. Yes. So I can't, I can't play in here. That's nice. Hmm? Yeah. That's a drilled out little acorn button. Yeah, man. That's an early one there. Three cups. Check out this time back. Little wire shank. The design is incredible. That is so cool looking. Definitely could have been some sort of Tudor Rose type design. It was supposed to be maybe. That's that's fancy, all hand etched in there. That is one cool looking time back button. This is a nice signal here. 21 to 22. It's all the way pure. It might have a silver finish. How about a little Spaniard? I'd like to see some silver today. I'm just expecting you to do it, buddy. Huh? I'm about to see whatever it is. Anything but a memorial or a weedy, and I'll be happy. I see it. It's right there. Looks like a big cop. It's a big cop. It's going to have details, I can tell you that much. Oh, nice. pull the button out. It's a perfect KG2 early head. Ain't no perfect Woodside Bernia, but it's a KG2 with a date, I do believe. I'm gonna have to get a little closer up on it to see what the date is, but <laughs> another beautiful coin out of here. It, it's been back and forth with us with good looking coins. It's your turn, Mucky Muck. You got a fantastic looking button. You got a what? Nice encrusted button. You got an encrusted button? I'll come check that out. Let me put this away. Well, there's a nice coin with some details. King George II, early head, no doubt about it. I even have a date. I believe it's a 1737. That is a nice, beautiful copper coin. That was definitely lost fresh. This site, we have found some coins that go back to the 1600s, and we know they were here. Definitely early 1700s, probably when they lost this coin. That is awesome. Ooh, it's a basket week design. It's got a little star or little X on it. That's cool. Oh, it's another thick one. Yeah. We've been finding a bunch of buttons like this. I don't know if they're solid or they're hollow blowholes, but that's a cool looking button, bro. Yeah, man, thanks. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> Getting on it. Oh, that's a healthy scoop. This is a 13 signal button. Yep, oh, hunk of shoe buckle frame. I wonder if that went to one of Mark's. Yep, I got me a hunk of shoe buckle. This site just keeps on giving. I love it. My favorite kind of site. Oh, I got a little piece of lead, but apparently Mark has a coin. Yeah. Well, it was your turn to find it a was. coin. Ooh, I see yep. details already. What do you got this time? Oh, is that what I think it is? Is that a KG2 farthing? Yes, it sir, is. I think so. You got a date and everything on that thing. All right. Dude, that's cool. We don't find too many of those. It's definitely George II bust. There's Britannia. I think it's a 1749. I don't know. Dude, that's beautiful. <laughs> I like it. We're going, going tick for tat. Yeah. With good looking cops. Well, you got four now. I yeah. got some work to do. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I want to. What a beautiful little farthing. King George II. No doubt about it. This thing is tiny. 1730. It even has clear date on the reverse. That is an awesome little coin. We do not find too many farthings with details like that. We do not find too many King George II farthings. Well, we probably do, but they're all worn out. No doubt about that one. That is a good looking little copper coin. And as a size comparison, there it is next to the half pennies Mark's found today. That is a good looking little pile of coins. Check a little peek in his box. There's his fancy buttons. 
And uh, he did some native hunting yesterday, some sifting, and he got some arrowheads and stuff. But good looking stuff so far. This site is giving it up. A lot of iron in this area I'm working, but this definitely doesn't sound like iron. Unless it's falsing on the iron. It definitely sounds like it could be a coin, but I'm sliding. I can't get it in. There she goes. That felt good. <laughs> That sounds different down there. I better check this scoop. Uh, it's got a roached out copper. A roached hammered copper? That sounds like lies. Paper thin, it's got a shield on it. Oh, I got a 19 out. I'm gonna bring your... Oh, what is that? That's big. Oh, good. Big black tomback button? That's a high beeping time back button. Hey, Lon, look at my paper thin shield. Huh? Shield. Paper thin. What is Careful that? Thing? See the shield? Oh. What the heck is that? Right? That looks like the shield to a real though. Yeah. What in the world is that? That is. Is that a uh, six Maravides? I don't know what the heck that is, dude. It's definitely cooler than my button. It's definitely a coin. Paper thin, whatever it is. Dude. <laughs> it looks thinner. Why is it so thin? I don't know. Like you said, that could be a hammered copper. Yeah. I think that's what that is. <laughs> hammered Spanish copper of some yeah, sort? Maybe. That's a Spanish looking shield on the back. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. It's cool. It's cool all the way. Yes, sir. Cool AF, as they say. As the kids say, where do you want it? Over here with the rest oh, of Oh, with the rest of your coins? Yes. This is something pretty special here. I do believe this was a hammered copper coin. It looks like the Spanish shield on the back. So my guess is some sort of Maravedis coin. Hard to see. I mean, it's it's paper thin too. The hammer coins usually come out real thin like that, but it's still holding details. This is the the tall tale sign. That shield and the crown up top. We'll definitely be able to ID it. Hopefully, I have it up on the screen. But I'm gonna call it some sort of Maravedis. Maybe a two or four Maravedis. I have no idea. My guess is late 1600s, early 1700s, but I don't know. I really hope we get the ID of this coin properly because that is bad to the A. That's a cool coin. Really old, old uh, cat bus quarter. Really old cat bus quarter? Yeah. See, did. It's 26 now. I was beeping 28. Oh, you're back down to dime yeah, range. Yeah, see, did or. Uh, how about a two reals? That'll work too. Big fat two reals cob. <laughs> cob? Yeah, cob. I like cob. I like the sound of cob. I like the sound of a cob too. I went hammer cob or you go hammer silver. Okay. That's coming up, whatever it is. All right. It is a coin. I just hope it has details. There it is. <laughs> just like that. Oh, uh, it's a fat one. Yep. Oh no, this side looks like a shell. Yeah. Clammy. <laughs> Oh, it's it's US. Yeah. It's a drape bust. Alrighty. You can tell by the reverse. The beautiful drape bust. It's got a little little doink marks though. Yeah. I hammered where the bit. date is. It's 180 something, maybe a three. Nice. Bada bing. Got we, haven't US here. we haven't found too much US. Uh, we got some 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 more modern US coins here, closer to the shore, but whew. Nice. nice after lunch copper. I love it. Yeah. Bang. Back up. Definitely nice to see an early U.S. large scent. 1803 Drape Bust. It's weird. It's like pinched. Like it was in a pair of pliers or something. Back's got beautiful relief as well. That's good looking. Reverse. One Centola. I love it. I haven't had a coin to kiss it. I'm going to kiss that one. What are you laughing about? This is a fine little signal. 21 to 22. Hopefully it's not a wheat scent. But we're gonna find out here. Definitely sounds like a coin. It's all the way pure. How about a one real? I can get for one of them right now. One shot. Come on. How about some shiny? Ouch. The machine just pinched my arm hairs. Where are we at? Where are we at? I don't see it yet. Oh, that looks like a big copper. Or a big dandy bud. It's huge. It's gotta be a button. Oh, I just talk to Mark being like, man, I haven't found a button in forever. Man, I got a smooth dandy button. This is all fancy. That's all right. Sleep for sore eyes. It's been a while since I found something old. 
despite what the video is telling you, you're only seeing the highlights. See Perfect 23, 24. It brought you right to it, see? Yep, let's get ready to talk to Mark. And it's like, oh, there's a high turn. Still high turns here. Just few and far between. Oh, this digger's giving me problems. My shovel. Yeah, I might need to use that. Unless I one scooped it somehow. Sitting right on top. Can you see it? Is it in there? Yep, there it is. <laughs> Got one more. Nice. <laughs> what a day, bro. What a freaking day. Uh, That's awesome. Oh, on it. There it is. Oh, is that is that differentness? That's differentness. This Connecticut C O N. Yeah. Yep. That's why it didn't be higher than that. Nice. There's been a bunch of Connecticut's here. Nice. <laughs> yeah, nice. How about them apples? It's got to be what that is. Yeah, C O N. Yeah. No doubt about it. <laughs> Boom. One for the road. Not a ton of details on this coin, but right up here, C O N. No doubt about it. That used to be a Connecticut copper. All the Connecticut's out of here have been pretty smooth. Not much in the reverse, but you can definitely see that obverse. C O N. Put that in there. And a couple other things. I dug another button, and I got most of a crotal bell today. It's broken off the top. Little petals design. Seen better days than in the water. Yep. Good day. There's five cops. We ended up staying at that site the entire day. And if you would have told me in the beginning of this day that we were going to find. Ten more big coppers out of that place. I wouldn't have believed you. Unfortunately, Smiley didn't come out to the deeper water. We kept telling him to come out there with us. He found a bunch of buttons and some cool stuff, but he didn't cold. get on. It was cold. He didn't get on any coins to discover what we found. We filled up the board again from the same site. Quick look at the trash bucket. Some aluminum and shotgun shells and a bunch more lead from that site. It's a bunch of overflow, but that's beautiful smiley you got a really long rivet nice musket ball thimble don't know on that piece could have been a scotch and not 100 percent sure got a copper now we all found pieces of whatever that went to whatever those things were but he got this fantastic little arrowhead absolutely beautiful nice eyeball and the rest of his day was filled with buttons got plenty of buttons Unfortunately, he didn't land over any coins, but Mark did. He also got a metal comb, a little tick comb or something, lantern part. He had the, he's, he has the smallest D we've ever seen. <laughs> I mean, look at the size of that D buckle compared to this other stuff. It's so little. He got two hunks of shoe buckle frame, musket ball, pewter spoon handle. He got some really nice fancy buttons. All three of those there, absolutely fantastic. And you got a lead one and a cool little egg corner one with a drilled out shank. And what he's calling some, some lead tokens very well could be. Here's a look at all his coppers. A little side light help. Nothing on the first one. Still not 100% on the second one here. Maybe a William, we don't know. Fantastic Woods Hibernia 1723. Perfect little 1730 KG2 farthing. What we believe is a two Maravedis hammered copper coin. That thing is fantastic. Unfortunately, it's not much left of it. I uh, did get a crotal bell, a bunch of lead, probably a piece of a sus suspender. Those are definitely two suspenders. Uh, this little thing here, I didn't get this on video. It's got some, some mark markings on it. It has a name on it and it looks like some initials the other way. But I got a hunk of shoe buckle. None of my buttons were fancy, but I did get one with glass still in it. Little cuff link or cuff button. That's cool. Here's my five coppers. The first two here are Connecticut coppers, no doubt about that second one. And then I got a 1762 KG3 Hibernia. That's a King George II. I believe it's a 37 or 33. Can't really tell. And I got me a Drape Bus Large Scent. And a complete rat tail spoon bowl. And some other pewter spoon pieces. That is awesome. Second complete one I found this year. What a beautiful board. There's absolutely no way possible if we go back to this site we're going to have another day like this. 
no way possible we're definitely gonna be checking out some new places on this river we'll probably go back to this place every once in a while just to you know get get our toes wet but thank you guys for watching until next time help clean up the ground get all <laughs> Let me, uh, I'm tired. Help clean up the ground, dig it all, and take your trash with you. I can't speak. Until next time, help clean up the ground, dig it all, and take your trash with you. Why? Because all holes matter. Yes, sir, all <laughs> holes matter. I wish a couple more years holes mattered today. Holes matter. I can't speak. I it, was cold out there. it was 92 degrees, and he said it was cold out there. You know, I need a little side light on these coins again. I gotta do a little flyby. They are so beautiful. Super. Holy cow. I got IDs on all my coppers. That never happens. What are you doing, Smiley? See you right on the back? There's lead, right? See like that edge of it. Looks like a tomback uh, dome almost, but it's lead, right? It feels like lead. Can't I mean, it, it doesn't make any sense if it had a back market or yeah. anything. Very interesting. <laughs> I don't see nothing on the face. Oh well. Oh no! <laughs> what a ding dong! I it. dropped it. Nice. I'll find it for you eventually. <laughs> Uh, I said I was done with these, but apparently I wasn't. Yeah, the size of that clam. Coho. We could have a clam bake for lunch. Yeah, let's do that. I didn't bring any butter. Yeah. <laughs> That's a good mouthful of snot in that. <laughs>